Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create an auto detailing website using Shopify. First, be sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So without further ado, let's get going. First we are going to go over here to our products section and here we are going to click on add product. Here we are going to start filling all the blanks with our products information. For example, I'm going to start with my full polish. So once we have our uh, title ready we are going to copy it and here on the description we are going to click on generate text and we are going to paste our title. Here we are going to click on generate and this way we you, Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to generate a description for us. Here we can either choose to generate the description again or just click keep to keep the one we already have. For media, we're going to click on upload new and we're going to choose an image for our product. Below it, the, we're going to have the category section. Now here Shopify is usually going to choose a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. But if we want it, we can click over here to change it if we so want it. On our right, we're going to have a product type, vendor, collections and tags section. For collections, make sure you add your product to your home page. And for tags, you can put whichever one you would like. For example, I'm going to put detailing. And next, we're going to have our pricing section over here. Let's say that we're going to charge around 60,000 pesos for each polish and the cost per item is going to be around 40,000 pesos. This is going to leave us with a 20,000 pesos profit at a 33.3% margin of profit. For inventory, I'm just going to uncheck this because we're not going to keep track of inventory. And here we also have a wait section in case we're going to do any kind of shipping. So once we are done customizing our product, we're going to click here on save and we would have our first product ready as you can see right over here. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on add product again and I'm going to keep uploading all of my products. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm... So guys, as you can see here, I have added a exterior wash, an interior detailing and also a steam wash. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to our online store and we're going to start to customize it. Here we're going to be able to change its theme. For example, if we go down Shopify, it's going to give us a bunch of different free themes to use. Or if we click over here on visit theme store, we are going to be able to shop for a bunch of different uh, themes. As you can see here, we're going to have a lot of them. Some of them may better suit our website, but for me, I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. Here, once we're back over here, we're going to click on customize and we would have a, our website right over here for us to customize. For, if we click over here, you can see that the sections is going, uh, are going to be outlined by these blue lines and on the top left, the name of the section is going to be displayed. On our right, we are going to have all the different options that we can use to customize our sections. For example, this is our image banner and we're going to click over here on select add images and we're going to select an image to be our banner. Once it's done uploading, we're going to click on done and you can see that right over here, our banner is going to change. Next, we're going to change the text on our heading. For example, I'm going to put Welcome to my auto detailing website. Now let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. We're going to go over here on template, add section, and here we're going to have a bunch of different options to add, for example, a featured collection, a featured product, a collection list, etc, etc. For me, I'm just going to choose a featured product. And here on the right, we're going to select a product to be displayed. For example, I'm going to choose my exterior wash and as you can see the product is going to be displayed and as you can see the product is going to be displayed right over here. Now let's say that we want to change things up a bit. For example, we're going to change the color scheme to match the vibe and we're going to put a nice dark theme right around here. Another thing that can happen is that, for example, we have added a new collection. For example, I'm going to choose a, a featured collection and we want to delete this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and here on the bottom right, we're going to click on remove section. This way, the section is going to be completely removed. 
We can also add sections to our footer, we can add here an email sign up and a custom liquid and the same goes for our header here, if we click on add a section we are going to be able to add also a custom liquid and an announcement bar. Another very important thing about our header is going to be that right over here our store's name is going to be displayed. So in order to change it what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes, we're going to go back and here in the home page of Shopify we're going to click on name your store and we would be able to change our store's name here. For example I'm going to put auto detailing and I'm going to save my changes. Now in order to make sure that everything is correct we're going to go back to our online store but now we're going to click on the three dots, we're going to click on preview and we would be able to see that right over here our store's name is going to be changed. We can scroll down to make sure that everything else is set up just the way we want and once we are done we are going to go back over here and next we are going to go over here to the analytics section. Now this is going to be a really important section for us guys because here we are going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value and many different things such as for example uh, which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers among many many other things and uh, information which is going to really help us manage and customize our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly I wanted to show you the discount section here if we go to discount I'm going to click on add discount we are going to choose an amount of products and here we are going to be able to customize our own discount for our online store. For example here we can choose the code, let's say we are going to put code 101 or we can just click over here and a Shopify is going to provide us a random code for us. Below it we can choose which kind of discount it's going to be, either a fixed amount or a percentage amount. I'm going to choose a percentage and let's say we are going to have a 10% discount. Below it we can choose which uh, collections our discount is going to apply to, for example um, we are going to click on browse and I'm going to choose the products of my homepage collection. If we keep going down you can see that we have uh, more options to further customize our discount such as if we need any minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations and lastly here if we click on set end date we can choose an expiration date for our discount. For example I'm going to choose the 29th and here I'm going to click save discount. Now we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.